Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Raggy's Tap Room. Tonight, a beer from Black Iris Brewery. They're obviously coming to Nottingham Craft Beer Festival this year. Oops, turn my notifications down. <laughs> You've got notifications going off, making a noise. Oh dear, now I can't, I can't work out how to turn them down. Now there we go, yes. So hopefully that's that. So... Good evening, Thomas. Both Thomases. Good evening, Shane. Help me to enjoy that bang the elephant beer. Uh, this is a rich and decadent salted caramel imperial mild. What better way to celebrate your birthday than with an oxymoron? Brewed with caramel, pink Himalayan, rock salt and Madagascan. ABV is 10%. And yeah, they're birthday beers from last year. Um, from when they opened the tap room as well. I drank this on the second night. Good evening, Chris. What was the score? I, I haven't watched anything today. I've been busy all day doing bits and bobs. Nothing in particular, but busy. Strange old day. So, salted in caramel imperial mild. I don't have a bang the elef a, a black iris brewery glass. So I'm actually reviewing it. And they're good mates at Neon Raptor. Well, they hope they are anyway. Should be. They were chatting last year at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival when I walked past them. In the way, merrily. And I think they poured some of the, uh, oh gosh, the Imperial Red as I was chatting to them. So here we go. I'm running out of posh glasses because they keep committing suicide or someone commits suicide on top of them. And most annoying. So, yeah, I had this last year, fresh as a daisy. It's a bit older now, obviously. Doesn't mean it's any still on sale on the website. So, you know, obviously it's still fresh out there. Got this yesterday from Totally Tapped, the Totally Brewed Tap Room in Beeston in Nottingham. Good to see local breweries supporting other local breweries. It's, it's how we all, um, you know, go on in the world. So, and obviously, it's mild May. Um, it's that time of the year. All the breweries seem to be doing something for mild May. Um, Lenton Lane Local again, they're doing Fierce, which even Mrs. Raggy liked. Uh, Lincoln Green, they're bringing out a mild. It'd be interesting to see if Totally Brew bring a mild out. That'd be something. Said, I'm sure I read somewhere that they've got it one, in, one on the go or one coming. I may be wrong. So, yeah. May the 1st, mild May. Whoa, get in. Hey, it's been a good day. Been a good day. Good evening, Mr. Bolton. So, here we are. Now, per se, I'm not really a salted caramel fan, but a favourite supermarket to Londonderry yesterday. Oh, the Tesco's in Londonderry. Oh, dear. If you ever, anybody watching this now or in the future, if you ever go over to Londonderry, Beautiful country, Northern Ireland. Always rains. Yeah, whatever day you go, it rains. Every day I go, it rains. And there's a Tesco's in London, Derry, which sells beers. The one you've never had before. Two, you need your car because you're going to spend. You if, you if you go with an open wallet, you're looking at about 200 quid and a full boot. But hey, isn't that what beer drinking's about? Newbies. So obviously, quite a dark knee black pour on this. Um about four mils of head, slightly creamy. Uh, it's not white, obviously, but it's like a yeah, like a really, really faint beige head on this. Derry, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, it's still getting me. Just then. <laughs> yeah. No, I was tempted to do a barbecue. I've got some steaks actually. So if it's not dark after I've done this, then I'm cooking. So I may take the phone up, the barbecue, the phone's on charge. Well, the phone was on charge. And uh, good evening, Jack. Good evening, Benjamin. Jack, Jesus Christ, mate. Thank you very much. But you does embarrass me. It does. Put the phone on charge. Because if I'm cooking on the barbecue, I wasn't going to have a drink tonight, but twisted by a raggy live stream. You see, I didn't know what I was reviewing tonight. And I think that's what I'm going to do most nights is j just put like a placeholder on the internet saying raggy beer review at half seven. Um, 
the nights that I can actually do that. Yeah, very nice. Damn right, Chris. It died on me. I'm carrying on talking. The, the chat died, but I was still live. So I presume some sort of internet issue. But if you watch, if you watch the stream after the chat stopped, um, it carried on. So oh, God knows. Ridiculous. Good evening, Shane. Yeah, mate. Definitely ready for next Sunday. Ready to get some nice pubs out of the way. And I'm going to attempt some. Yeah, I'm going to attempt some live reviews from the pubs with the phone. I need to get one of them little tripod things like what Craig and Hopzine have. You know, these posh tripods. But I'm not really posh, so I don't do a posh. Uh, I'm from St. Anne's. We don't do posh. Good evening, Ali. Welcome back. So, yeah. On with the beer. Stella Perfect Draft Keg. 12 hours at double time plus a day's holiday. Triple time. Well, do you know, there's a sacrifice sometimes to be made, isn't there? You never know. <laughs> you have, Peter. You have. So, yeah, had this fresh at Black Ice Br Black iris brewery tap room if you've never been to black iris and you come to nottingham it is an absolute belter of a tap room it now has outdoor eating as well which is great because in the colder months it gets a little bit on the chilly side so right, it's summer massive match on for forest on tuesday massive biggest match for 30 years or at least 20. lovely aroma of chocolate on the nose Chocolatey caramel, rather. <sighs> Getting this span is costing you a fortune. <clears throat> Can't do it on this feed. Don't think you can, anyway. Sheffield United versus Forest at Wembley. Interesting live stream. Yeah, if you can get it on. It's all on Sky, isn't it? This is where I hate Sky. I wish it'd all be on normal TV. Francis Garner, I think the German, them sort of German beers, you know, you either like them or you don't. There's a lot of beers, let's be fair. We all like certain beers and we all don't like certain beers. I'm not really a Ho Garden fan. So, um, but I appreciate the style. So it's, it's difficult. You can't go knocking a beer because the style is not down to your type of beer. Um, I've learned that little lesson myself. Um Straight up, Mark, straight up is what we really, really want. So, let me get a sip, because I'm eight minutes in, I haven't had a sip yet, and I'm starting to get really, really... If I had the wrong person, oh, there, there you go. You can have a spanner. I've spannered you. You've been spannered. Well, I think you have anyway. Has it worked? I have no idea. Oh, so the salty element kicks in there. Quite powerful salty elements as well. There's a, there's a more earthiness to the salt than there was when I had it at the tap room. And this is where obviously beers change. Even 10% beer. Don't we all do things for attention though? You know, I don't do beer reviews and not drop a few comments in just to, just to, you know, I'm a gardener. So you drop comments in to see where, where the comments go. Sometimes I'll say something just for bedevilment. Good evening, Mr. Chris. It is, uh, I've had it super fresh. And obviously this has been in can. I don't know when the can was made. There's no, there's no, there's no, I mean, it's not out of date, that's for sure. Because it won't be not in the fridges over at um, Totally Tapped. So I presume it's like a second iteration, or they've just rebrewed it. Because obviously they're going to rebrew. It's good. And for mild May, I presume that's why it's, it's still around. This is not my first beer of the day. You're damn right. No. So I reviewed Book and Gold earlier. Yeah. Review Book and Gold earlier, and don't tell anybody, 
that while I was watching some of Craig, because Kent Beer Reviews is doing a live stream at this moment, while I was watching Craig's, I had a holy wine. Only a small sip, like that much. Like. And uh, we were dropping a cake off. So I haven't been able to have a drink. So we were dropping a cake off over Bang the Elephant, uh, one of the Bang the Elephant lads. And um, Birmingham Craft Beer Shop. Oh, cheers for that, mate. Uh, I did see something earlier. Yeah, yeah, I did. And uh, I've, I've had a sip. Well, he poured me a glass about that much. And I had to let the wife of, of half of it. 12% unreleased as yet statement of intent of barley wine it's coming out in, in soon and uh by all accounts well it tasted absolutely amazing and even mrs raggy liked it so that, that tells you something um not many beers get past mrs raggy she should be the hardest beer reviewer to please yeah <laughs> she, she, she drinks something and you know sometimes good evening david good evening max and you know, sometimes you drink a beer and you, and you don't give you you don't let your face give it away. So you drink and you and you you very even if you don't like it, you like and you don't let your face give it away. My wife, she'll drink something and straight away, it's, and she pulls the funniest faces. And you could just imagine her, someone coming. Ah, oh, this is our latest release, and then she, she starts to drink it and she just pulls that face. Yeah. You could just imagine some brewer walking away is 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 his life in tatters because somebody's just pulled the the worst face at his beer. But no, no, she actually enjoyed it tonight. So probably a good thing as well, because it, it was in the brewer's kitchen. So it wouldn't have gone down well, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> but it did taste dreamy. Gonna get two cans when it comes out. So I presume it'll be about twelve quid a can, because twelve percent is around about that price. And it's a barley wine as well. So should be interesting. It's funny you say that, Thomas. You know, you know, for the um, for the Raggy Beer Festival that I'm doing at my wedding vows. Is that my phone? Yeah, I can turn the blooming comments off properly. So yeah, I'm actually going to brew an imperial stout for the wedding. I'm going to barrel age it, and. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Get them bloody, that's it. I've got my sound turned off now. Big apologies. You don't want to hear somebody's phone going off in the background when you're trying to enjoy TV or, or whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking of doing an Imperial Stout, but a Banoffee Imperial Stout, yeah. You're only using a kit. The channel birthday celebration. I need to get it up on the channel. It's going to be a celebration of traditional beers. Although, if certain beers, certain breweries let out certain beers, <laughs> um, I may change that. But I think, yeah, I know it, it is Chris. It's embarrassing at times. I forgot to turn. I forgot to. I forget to turn the sound off. But yeah, I'm thinking to do for for these the birthday the channel celebration. Definitely thinking some of the big beers from supermarkets that are cheap, that people can join in. I'll buy them. I'll put them to one side and try not to drink them so that everybody knows what the beers are. I'll make it a good stream. Queen's Jubilee beer from m and I'll try and get it. Try. Um... We're out next week, two days. So I'm out on Saturday uh, in Sherwood in Nottingham with my wife and her friends. And I'm out on Sunday with Shane and Liam from the beer community. So, oh dear, it's going to be a busy weekend. Need to get some gardening done and pay for it. But Yeah, oh dear. Sampling lots of beers as you do. You can have it on the night of the Jubilee, like I said, it would be interesting to do a live stream on that night, drinking the M&S um, Raggy's Gold Nail in a new dress. Yeah, it probably is. I'm, get, I'm getting I'm getting multiple things coming from my phone. So, yeah. Caramel. Um, salted. The, the rock salt's coming through. And it says here, the ingredients. Good evening, Mr. Bramall. How are you? 
fantastic beer from Bush's Ale of Man. Oh, my too. I, do you know when Slurpee used to say about Bush's? I thought that I thought he was involved somewhat in that. So on the back, the ingredients here. Dirty weekend if I get promoted. It'll be an evil weekend. We'll all be, I'll be steaming. <laughs> Good evening, Mark. How are you, matey? So, the ingredients for this are muscovado, sugar, vanilla, salt, caramel, caramel extract, hops, yeast and water. And yeah. We'll be having a lay-in tomorrow. I say I'm getting a lay-in. And like this morning... I was up at six o'clock this morning, woke up, looked at the clock, six o'clock, and it's like, why? Why does my body clock wake me up at silly times? There's no need for it, you know. Sometimes your brain needs to say, no, 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 it's Sunday. Let's not wake him up at six o'clock. I was downstairs at seven cleaning the kitchen. Sad life, isn't it? I laid in bed for an hour and I thought, I can't stand it any longer. I just need to get out of bed. So... Oh, the salted element proper kicking in. Just keg the Belgian blonde, 8.2%. Lovely, lovely. So, to everyone in the chat who watches this both now and in the future, lost time when you're drinking. We were chatting about this last week, me, Hopzine, and uh, his good lady, the Queen of Barley Wine. And we was on about lost time. You know... There was a moment the other week when I was drinking in the Barley Twist in Nottingham, lovely craft beer pub. And I don't remember what happened after that. Next minute, I'm in I'm in my son's car, getting out at the Vale, which is near me. And uh, I don't remember the pub in between. Don't remember my son getting me up, picking us up. And uh, I fell asleep in the car and I'd lost that time. It had gone. Bit like X Files. Woke up before driving a truck to Ireland. I do more trucking. <laughs> do more trucking than before I retired. No, I didn't have a sore arse, no. <laughs> pissed as a fart. Well, yeah, there is that. There's the pissed as a fart bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I got to the veil and I was I was I was fine again. That that 10, 20 minutes of sleep. That I must have had in the car, or even 10 minutes micro sleep. Um, it just bounced me back open again. And then I was in the veil drinking another pint. And it's <laughs> put the pub in between. Can't remember what pub we were in. I think it is, but I think I know which one it is because it's the one my mates. I went to the toilet. It was out on a pub call. I went to the toilet and and uh, there was, you know, how they had this cake on the bar and it's got a glass dome on it. Well, anyway, I comes back from the toilet. All my mates are laughing, their heads off. The cake's gone. And uh, I know what happened, obviously. Yeah. I dare say should I, I, I dare say it was a while before they went in that pub again. Luckily, I wasn't involved. So I can hold my head up high. Yeah, it won't be. I've done some things, obviously, haven't we all? But, um, oh. So... If you like salted beers, um, this is definitely up your street. If you don't like salted beers, it might not be your cup of tea. Um, I kind of like the salted beers. I love the ABV is nice. Um, 10% drops are good. Probably the strongest mild that I've ever had. Um, there's some good milds about, though. Um, Lincoln Green do, do, is it Big Ben? 6% mild. That's a lovely mild. Um Obviously, Banks. Banks has do a mild. And uh, that's an absolute belter. For a mass-produced brewery, uh, it is still a belting mild. And probably one of the best milds in the country is a Bowen King mild, but also the St. Peter. St. Peter do a mild. Yes, they do. Little orange bottle. Flipping stunning. And only about 3% as well. So some great milds out there. And I will be trying a few more. In the month ahead, I'm hoping that the no the internet's not work, not gone down. God, I hope not. So feeling the ABV on this, gotta say, starting to kick in. 
smoked plum porter. <sighs> oh, that does sound nice, doesn't it? And have you noticed that Fort Vocation, with their new beers they bought out, them six, uh, double diamond, mild. I've never even seen that. Um, one of their six beers they've brought out is, is a Damson beer, Damson Imperial Stout. So Damson is plum, uh, if you didn't know, out there. Some sort of plum, anyway. That's as far as I know, either. Because, obviously, um, the Badger beer, Cranbourne Poacher, is a Damson beer. Ansel's mild, right? Never even had that. Just goes to show you my, you know, I suppose, but in different parts of the country, you're going to have different beers, aren't you? I always thought Mansfield bit in there, me did a mild, but uh, maybe not. Dutton's dark mild. Amazing, isn't it? You know, across the country, the amount of different beers. Double diamond was a lager. Yeah, I've never heard of it as a mild, to be honest, but. Exactly, Mark. They were on about that. We were talking in the pub the other week and they were on about milds. And, yeah, the slop, they used to put the slops together and sell it as a mild. Yes, John, I did. Yes, the bootlegger, yeah. Uh, yeah, just here. Yes, I shall be reviewing that soon. Um Mansfield smooth. Uh, you can still get that, can't you? All those Marston's these days, isn't it? Marston's. Mm. I, I have I have good thoughts and bad thoughts towards them. You know, uh, buying. I don't like companies, big companies who buy companies and then ruin the brand and ju and then sack all the staff and move all their production to another brewery. Happened in Nottingham with um, Hardy and Hanson's, uh, a good brewery, a big brewery, and all. And it's, you know, it's gone. Um, probably the biggest brewery, apart from Mansfield, in Nottinghamshire. I mean, look look what we've lost. We've lost O-Mails. You know, sad to see. Tech is used to be mild as well. Right, yo. Burton would mild. Ooh. Double Diamond did a light mild and the dark mild. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? When I worked in Sainsbury's for five years, I'd get people all the time asking to me, asking me, do you sell a mild? And at that moment, that's at that moment in time, I didn't even know what a bloody mild was. I says, no, we don't, no. We sell all this, but we don't sell a mild. You'll have to go to uh, Morrison's. Morrison's at the time did sell a mild. Aston mild in cans, wow. All the pubs in North West did a dark or light mild. It's interesting, isn't it? See, I, I had a mild the other day um, from Lenton Lane called Fierce. Um, you may well see it across the country in, on cask. And that is is basically, I would class it as a light, mid-mild. Uh, but really nice. The wife loved it as well. So, you know, Jack did well. Jack being the, the main brewer down there. Yeah, he did well with that bit. Hoping to get a few miles in this weekend. And uh, if Shane or Liam are in the chat, um, have you ever been to the Lincoln Green pub at uh, Canning Circus? So this, there's some pubs on the radar next week. A little bit of walking involved. But, uh, yeah, there's some good pubs around. And uh, it's a good thing to have halves or thirds. One, don't get drunk so much and... Uh, You're right, Max, but you know, a lot of the craft beer generation uh, have not had a mild. And you'll find now that the craft beer, um, a lot of the craft beer, the big craft beer producers are all bringing out a mild. I, I think it's just a jump on the bandwagon, really. But, uh, ah, good, good. Not being, no, not being. Oh, good, good. So, got some good pubs on the list next week. We've got a, a six or seven hour itinerary. Yeah, need to get around. Luckily, we're not doing about eight in the Neon Raptor. Yeah, that was some doing, that was. Yeah, 
Jesus me. But it was a good time nonetheless. Pints of mix. That freights freights still do a um a mild and it is a nice mild i had that i bought that from um the marston's brewery tap room their, their shop on site shop green oils green, green haller same bear different name folks said it tasted better do you know chris that goes on more than what you realize because an, a, a certain brewery let this slip to me. It says, you know, when we when we when we bogger up on when 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 a brewery forgets to put a certain element in or puts too much in, you know, we all make cock ups, don't we? And they'll just rename the beer something slightly different. And uh, and again, you know, it's it's the same beer but slightly different name. And it's amazing. It's amazing what. Um, what, what they do you know i mean it'd be like all of us if we if we made our own beer and uh you know where would we do a fantastic dark mild oh not a core range yeah this is the thing isn't it you know the more i suppose a lot of breweries the cost of putting into bottle or can it's not worth it going into cask it's just a quick fill the cask up jobs are good and sell it on and get the cask back you know you made your money on the cask and to put it into bottle kimberly classic i never had it never had that no i ain't i haven't had many of the Ardy and anson's range i mean i used to drink from the age of uh, <clears throat> 14 and i went to pubs at 14 didn't even look like 14 year old god knows how i got how, how they served me or did my mate go up to the bar and get served that was probably the reason and uh and then from the age of 20s, I think we'd stop going to pubs for a long while. Brown and Mild was popular in the Northwest as well. Yeah, Newcastle Brown. I mean, look what they've done to it now. It's a travesty, isn't it? It's, <laughs> people in Newcastle must think, what have you done to our brand? Yeah. So, I've got strong taste of this. It's stronger than I remember it, um, straight from keg. Maybe chilled. Uh, this wasn't chilled. It was shed temperature. So not not quite room temperature, but certainly not uh, keg temperature. But it is, you know, it's 10%. So, um, this sort of temperature should be okay for it. But it's it's got some twang to it. It's more challenging than I remember. Brown and mild was man's brown. Ooh, man's man's beer. Ugh. It's not a nice beer. <laughs> it's not worth the 80, 90 pence that you pay for it. You know, there's not many beers that I really don't like. And uh, even when they're in tip top condition, and that's one of them that I just don't rate at all. Like, you know, Ooh. But it's good. It's good to see you know beers not lost. Um, you know, beer drinking is about keeping the traditional and the craft beer stuff going. Um, you know, we're all part of that. All of us are, for whatever age we are. It's all about keeping those traditional styles and making sure they don't leave. But then also embracing the new stuff. And there's a lot of new stuff out there. And that's something the craft, this recent craft beer generation are doing, really pushing different boundaries of what, what you know. I mean, I know, I know now that Formbridge are doing similar to what I did actually a few weeks ago in my own uh, spirit based um, barrel aged beers. They, they've got their necessary evil in um, triple sec K, uh, barrels now. And that's amazing. You know, never thought triple sec could come in a barrel. Um, it just be distilled and then just added the flavor into it just because it doesn't it well i know but i suppose if to put it in a barrel then the the woodiness of the barrel goes into the triple sec and then obviously then you buy a triple set barrel put the imperial stout in hey ho different flavors again 
Spawn Brood at the way. Double Diamond, Long Life, Low and Brow, Skull, Castle Main 4X. Castle Main 4X was one of the, I'm sure that's one of the reviews that Rampant Lion did. And he got one and a half million, million views on the one beer. It blew his channel overnight, uh, from what I was told anyway. And I've seen, I've seen the review. Um, I'm sure it was Castle Main 4X. Might be wrong, might be some old 4X, but I'm sure it was that. Green Oils, you know, I've never even heard of Green Oils. I've heard of the gin, Green Oils. I think, is that Green Oils? Or, or, yeah, some of the green. But, um, yeah, lots of brands disappearing, isn't they? So, enjoying this. I think my favourite from from uh, the, the birthday beers last year was the Imperial Stout. It, it was an absolute belter. Looking forward to seeing what Black Iris do this year for the next birthday. Um Green Oils, Warrington, mighty oh. And you see the good thing about chat online chat and beer reviews, it's, there's the learning process, isn't there? If you don't know, you don't know. So people talking about stuff, different breweries and what they did, and it's that learning process, the interaction and learning. Obviously, none of us know everything, unless your name's Donald Trump, probably. He knows a lot. But uh, Boddington's, when it was brewed locally. Yeah, Boddington's now is <laughs> very bland, isn't it? I had a Boddington's at a barbecue and it's like, oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's mass produced. When it's, I mean, I, I don't think it's in many supermarkets now, is it? It's, it's lost its footing in supermarkets. Funny how that happens. Although, you should know that in supermarkets, a lot of beers, they have to pay to have their, have their beers in supermarkets. Hence why a lot of breweries don't, you know, and they don't make a lot of money off supermarket beers as well. So, um, <clears throat> I mean, when brewers tell you that someone, they make a couple of quid off a pallet, that's crap. I mean, obviously it pays for the beers, but you're, you're not getting the profit, you know, is rubbish off a pallet of beers. Anyway, bank holiday Monday tomorrow. Hoping to get the barbecue out. So they don't chuck it down with rain. Uh, never weather needs to warm up. I want to get the hot tub on. Do some hot tubbing while well, I can still afford to do some hot tubbing with the uh, cost of gas and electric these days. You pray and hope that something happens before next winter and it starts to come down again. There's going to be a lot of people who are already on the breadline. Suffering ma majorly, majorly. Yeah, I might do it. I might do a hot tub review. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you're on triple time at work. Triple time for me would be 30 quid an hour or a bit more. I don't know. Not sure what I'm on an hour. Don't really see it anyway. Wife sees it. Uh, I, all I am is the middleman. I, I, um, you get the boss who pays it to my bank, and then my bank, my wife pays it to the bills. So I'm just the middleman. I work for it, but never see it. I can't remember spending a single penny on beer, at least. On shopping, yeah. But I, I can't remember the last time I spent a single penny of my work money. Seven o'clock on your way home. Oh, so half seven's good then. Hey. Yes, Chris. Um, next winter, I think we're... You know, people are all going to have to make decisions next winter. Um, lowering the temperature. Thing is, I live in a hundred-year-old house, and it, it takes some chuffing eating. Yeah, we've got in two rooms upstairs. We've got thermal thermal boards on the walls. They're a little bit warmer, but you've got to you've got to get get some heat going. Pint of Stella or cloud water, verdant cloud water dipper in your hand. Oh, fair play. So Verdant, are they in Cornwall? I'm sure I read they was in Cornwall the other day. Someone's bound to know. I don't. I didn't think they was that far down the country. I know Cloudwater's Manchester. Four 
fall out between neighbours, having parties in the octave in the early hours. I'd be wondering what was going off in the octubs in the, in the early hours, I would. You know, there's a, there's a time when there's hot tub in it and then there's a time where, oh dear, oh dear, what are you in the bloody octubs? <laughs> so it's cool, right? Ooh. Them in St. Austell Brewery, if that's how, that's how you say it. I struggle to say that. Is it Astle or Austell Brewery? They ought to do a collab together. Yeah, that'd be good. Traditional meets craft beer collab. That'd be an interesting collab. So, enjoying the uh, salted caramel. Again, if you don't like salted caramel, you may not find this your cup of tea. But if you like the salted caramel sort of thing, and you like the idea of drinking a mild, this is definitely up your street. Yeah, 10%. Still getting that lovely caramel, chocolatey caramel nose. Can't afford the petrol to get to Verdun. Yeah, this is one of the reasons this year why we went for an Alton Towers season pass over a Merlin season pass. Not just for the money side of things, but for the fact that free, free of the... Um, theme parks around london which means three hours down to london then three hours back plus it makes a long bleeding day as well you can't afford to get the petrol to get to cloudwater in south yorkshire your deal doesn't run out to the summer 2023 to be fair i'm only still putting 20 quid a week in petrol but on the flip side, um, I don't go anywhere in my in my what I call my work car. So I go to work and back, and then I go to do my gardens and back. And I've been having what with Easter and bank holidays and holidays, lots of four day weeks. So I've not been using the car five days every single week. So. As soon as I start using it, then I might have to bump it up. The wife's gone from 20 quid a week to 30 quid. But she does town miles. I don't do town miles. I do distance. So, although it sounds like a, a garden, the car sounds awful. Travel up the A6 to Cloudwater. How far is Cloudwater away from Stockport then? Surely it's not that far. Got a real earthiness in the background on this. You can tell it's aged lovely. 6.5 miles. 160 quid a month in petrol. Ouch. Nice coffees. Do you like your coffee then? <laughs> I'm taking a lot of five minute walk to work. Yeah, yeah that's good, isn't it? That's why ninety pound a diesel a fortnight. Oh, for God's sakes! It, the connection's unstable. Oh, it's come back on. Thank God. Ninety pound a diesel a fortnight. It's a killer, isn't it? You know, in some ways, if you can work from home, they should still they should still encourage that. Have you noticed that the government aren't doing the uh, where they need what they need to do, and that's you know put a um, I can't think now, but on the end, on the energy companies, uh, you know, take money off the energy companies because they're making a fortune. It's a worldwide price. They're making a bloody fortune off it. Good evening, Scott. How's married life, mate? And great to see you again. Great to see you, mate. £50 a fortnight in diesel. It's crap, isn't it? What we're paying out. Oh, dear. And the big man's in the house. So, for those who came for some sort of review, 
and uh, there is review elements in this, but then that's that's a normal raggy thing, you know. He does a slight review and then he just carries on talking. So obviously, neon black paw. There was a bit of a off-white head, um, chocolatey caramel on the nose, on the taste, salt, but an earthy saltiness. Got a bit of a twang on the salt. Did not get from the ke the keg version, but still nice and decent. Can't get a CNC machine in the bedroom. What the hell is a CNC machine? Or oh, dare I ask? Oh. And do people like salted caramel? I've had a salted caramel vodka. Absolutely hated it. Drank it. It was so salty. It was like drinking salt. Although, if this helps get rid of the ulcer at the back of my mouth... Uh, it's a good thing, that bit of salt I might swallow some salt tonight and drink some salt and gurgle it around try and shrivel up the, um, if it is an ulcer God knows what it is so, God knows it, I think the chat's died I never know, because, oh there you go thank God watch what you say back here <laughs> I agree, Scott, you know, there's a, there's a balance. And uh, as in all life, there's a balance. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm good at saying the wrong thing. Yeah. I do it all the time. It's like when you crack a joke to somebody at work and you can see them mortally offended. And it's like, it was a joke. I will not being offensive. I mean, the other week I called a mouse a little fat bastard at work, pardon French, and uh, the swear word was French. And I looked in her face and I could see she was really, really offended. And I'm like, you know, I didn't say, I didn't call it that to be offensive. It was a, it was a big fat mouse that I'd killed in the mousetrap. Um, horrible things. And, uh, you know, sometimes... Though you can say something at the wrong time, and you know, you you know straight away, you think shit. They've took offence to that, and uh, yeah, story of my life. Yeah, no, the mouse was dead, <laughs> splattered. Yeah. yeah, I'm good at dropping clangers. You say something, and then you realise straight away, you think, oh, that didn't go down well. And uh, and you wait for a comment back. Or oh, it's like when you send a message to somebody or an email, and you just know that you've dropped it, you drop yourself in it. I think that half the time is why I don't bother saying, you know, you know I, sit, I sit there and think, I want to say something, you know, witty, sarky. And you thought, you're dead, because they're just going to take it the wrong way. And then you've just, it's just, you just won't, wasted your time totally and uh, maybe i've just got a strange sense of humor i don't know uh, it um yeah it's a strange one it is yeah or are people these days what's the word snowflakes too bloody sensitive uh there is that sense of feeling um i don't know some of the idiots in the world, I think, I, I think I'm totally fine, you know. When you've got Putin and Trump in the world, and the, some of the stuff I say, nothing like Boris as well. No, I haven't dropped anything else. Well, not that I know of, at least. <laughs> so, 44 minutes in, and uh, yeah, trying not to look drunk as I go back up the house, you know, that that. So out for Scott, because Scott has wonder on his reviews. So he, he, he can be there, you know, apart from the Duvel review, which wasn't one of the best days, was it? Hey, God, I'm glad I didn't join you on that. Oh, dear. I'd have been steaming at five. And <clears throat> I'd have been out of it about five or six, not drank ten. But, um, yeah, you know, go up the ass and try and not look too drunk. And I'm cooking as well, so... Whether I cook outside, that's another thing. Don't do 10% beers. Do I've never heard of it. No, don't, don't do it, mate. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I remember the old Tom challenge. It didn't end well. No. Or no, trying to fill your belly with chips beforehand. It 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 was uh my belly was full before I'd even started to drink beers. He so started drinking beers. Seven beers in, I couldn't fit another beer in my stomach simply because the, the belly was totally full. Yeah, that smile. You need to put a smiley on, on, on conversations, don't you, in some ways? London Raggy. What's look London? What do you mean by London Raggy? You're going to prove London Raggy. Oh, Tom was too rich. Jesus Christ. Hey. I have got a ball in mine. Oh, Brew London. Ah, I thought to myself, I've brewed, I've, I've brewed an Imperial and I've brewed a barley wine. No, mate, no. It's a little bit out of my um, anxiety range. It's too far for me to go. I'd have to go on my own, so I don't like travelling on my own. And, uh, and you know, money, the money. We're saving up for a, a wedding vow thing next year, which is absolutely fleecing me. So, no, no sadly. No, can't afford the petrol. No, or the bus fare. Uh, yeah, sadly. Yeah, are you going, mate? Uh, Paul's beer reviews, I bet we'll do. None of us can. Yeah, I know. I know that's going to be the thing. Into Craig will probably be there, Mister. Certain other people will be there that you may or may not want to bump into. I suppose. I suppose the likes of Lords Brewing will be down there again at, at um, Brew London. Train tickets to the killer for Brew London. Are they expensive? Oh, good on you, mate. One one day I'll make it down there. When I when I grow some bigger boy pants, I'll get on a train by myself, try to get off at the right station, and uh, <laughs> as you do. Good evening, Stuart. Triple fruited mango on the go. Absolute belting beer. The one from Tesco's. Absolute belter. Don't believe the the don't believe the beer review that some other beer reviewer uh, did where he slagged it off. It is a fantastic beer. And uh, I'll call them out. Don't care. <clears throat> the one who slagged, slagged it off called it awful. It's an absolute belter of a beer. If you don't like sugary stuff, don't drink beers that are sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's a decent, decent beer. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of the Vault City beers are going to be that way because of the the sugary element in fruits. <laughs> Scott. That was well received there, mate. Uh, I, you got my drift pretty quickly. Without mentioning names, obviously. So need to kill off at 50 minutes because one, I'm cooking dinner. And the wife, she's been on cakes all weekend, bless her. She's made some stunning cakes this weekend. And, uh, yeah, I crowed the stone, yeah. But anyway, I might do. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, a certain person slagged it off, as he did with the Imperial um, Vocation one. And both of them were pretty decent beers. You might, yeah, you're probably right, Benjamin, but it's still a decent beer. If you, I don't like, I'm not keen on farmhouse beers, as Nin Carsey beer review will, will show you. And I was, I was bad on that beer review, but I think the beer was off, to be honest. So I'll give it that. But I did farmhouse beers since, and I've learned that unless the beer is twice as nice, Aldi is a perfect example of this. The first versions of that that come out were bloody disgusting. There were bad beers that should never, ever have been released to the public. Now, when it's a, when it's a style of beer that you don't like, you have to accept that it's the style, that style of beer. You may not like it, but it's that style of beer. And you have to say, it's not my cup of tea. 
and go from there. Obviously, but you can say what you like, obviously. It's not for me to say to anybody what, what you can and can't do. It's just what I'm telling myself these days. It is a thick juice bomb. That's definitely right, mate. 103 pounds return from Stockport to London. Shit, no. I won't bother. No. No. Oof. Dear, oh dear. I'd have paid a tenner. £103 return. Wow. I've done I've done to I've gone to London before. Sainsbury's paid. Uh, it was for a, a wine and beer um, tasting course. Yeah. yeah, it was a fantastic course. Oh dear. However, I was still walking after that. Season smells like farts after that in the Imperial Styles. If you smoked my toilet this morning, you'd have known. Jesus. Hey. Right? Even I was gagging. And I do apologise to any ladies that may may or may not watch this in the future. Yeah. But we all do craft beer farts, don't we, and poos? Yeah. It's disgusting. It smelled disgusting. This morning, it was awful. Wanda's a bit worried about poo I told her I'm on her best behaviour. She's never going to believe you, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. Was the kettle that ragged? <laughs> <laughs> what for a coffee? Yeah. <laughs> Get along. Oh, hot water for the no, no, my 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 loo flush is lovely. Yeah, I know what you mean there. Yeah. I had to put the kettle out for work. Jesus Christ, every time I went to the toilet at work, it left it in the I had to keep going out of water. Like, what? Flight's cheaper to you than travel to London. It's balmy, isn't it? Balmy. Balmy the prices. Best disbehaviour. I told my wife that, and she's never she she knows damn well that what I'm like. And uh, she she gets a big surprise when I walk in and I'm not falling around. Went out yesterday, sad as a pound, came down the shed, reviewed the 10% Vault City last night. I may maybe add a little bit more, maybe. And then walked up to the house. I fell asleep, falling asleep on the settee, fell asleep upstairs. And as you know, got the odor. A little bit of a bollocking this morning. A little bit, yeah. But uh, I mean, I was okay, but you know. That's why, Benjamin, they don't want anybody anybody south of Birmingham going to London. They don't, yeah. yeah we, we, we're too far up. I mean, I'm in the Midlands, and I don't want those Midlands people either. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. So, before I get a bollocking off the wife, Neon Black Poor, there was an off-white head on this. 10% Imperial Salted Caramel Imperial Mild. Black Iris Brewery. The tap room, if you ever come to Nottingham, is stunning make no mistake about it this neon raptor liquid light and a lot of craft beer pubs in nottingham it's an amazing place to come for craft beers and it's cheaper than london <clears throat> nonetheless um chocolate caramel on the nose uh, on the taste uh, the salted element comes through i'm still steaming uh i can feel it yeah Although, I've still got the barley wine. <clears throat> I know. An hour doing one beer. What's the world coming to? Right? One hour. But it's all about promoting locals. I like promoting locals because the good breweries. Although, uh, and they actually like my uh, post now, which is great. And uh, they're, they're, they're not the greatest for social media. Well, there wasn't, but they're getting better. And the, all the local breweries seem to be getting better with social media. Social media drives your platform. If you're not good on social media, you bloody well need to be. Less than a pint and you can feel it. Oh, dear. That's not good, is it? So, yeah. Um, the salted element was really earthy tonight. Quite strong in times. Still got hold of it. Four duvels by now. I probably could have done them all. Good evening, Jackman. I'm going to leave in a minute, mate. I need to get back up the house and get my dinner on. Um, 
for me, a good 4.3 out of 5. Enjoyed it, even though car the salted element is not my cup of tea. But I enjoyed it nonetheless. And uh, I'm going to take a photo of this. Yeah. yeah, as long as it still tastes all right. You know, uh, you know, it's a bit flat. Doesn't really matter, does it? It's all about the taste. Yeah, enjoyed this. And I uh, can't wait to see Black Irish Brewery at the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. Uh, that'll be mine next time when I see their beers. Although I may see one of their beers, a collaboration, I think, with Castle Rock Brewery. So that'll be interesting. Right, got a run. Thank you, everyone, for joining in tonight. Been a great night chatting. And uh, better get back up the house and uh, hopefully avoid a bollocking. Yes. And Scott, great time at um, Brew London. Hope you have a good one, mate. Try to be on your best behaviour. <laughs> Cheers. Ah, I'm a bogger, aren't I? Yeah. Do I care? No, 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 never did. <laughs> Cheers, all. 7.30 tomorrow night. Yay.